All right, dudes, it's time to release my current mod 14 build. There's some things I'm not completely done with, so um, I'll tell you what it is that I would prefer to have over the things that I have currently, but a lot of people have been asking. So uh, here, wait, let me just, since this is what I use in my matches, I use these three consumables, all three of which give me deflect, the caprice, the enhanced reflexes, and then this one that gives you deflex severity, which is really nice. So, in total, I'll have over 20,000 deflects. So, let, let's go over this. What I did differently to start was um, I moved all of my enchantments around. So, all of my defense enchantments are now silveries. Um... Most of my offense enchantments are Radiance. I think I have a couple, or at least one dark enchantment. Yeah, and an offense slot, just for a little bit of armor pen. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt. Um, okay, so, I, obviously I have reds and utilities for movement speed. So, this build is kind of more focused around um, being able to survive longer. Even though um, you you lose out a little bit of DPS for this build, um, you know, it's in my opinion it's better to be alive and on the node. Um, you can still kill people just fine, as you guys can see. I I have no problem killing people. Uh, however, this build does have a little bit of a struggle taking down tanky tanks. Um, but this is the Iron Vanguard, the Swordmaster is the same, a lot of people ask me if you can do the same thing for Swordmaster, you can, this build you can replicate for Swordmaster as you can see, I have the same build for Swordmaster, um, I think like one boon is different or something, so let's go over the feats, and uh, by the way, if you'll notice, the two new artifacts that I have added to my arsenal here are the Scourge artifact and the, uh, Forge Hammer of Gond. Both of these give me power and deflect. This one gives me stamina, and this one gives me control resist, which is extremely good. So, let's go over feats. Oh, actually, first you can see what I've done here. So, this is um, what I've done for my ability scores. So, let's go over feats. You can screenshot any of these. You can pause the video, whatever you want to do. doesn't matter. Um, I think the feats are pretty much exactly the same. I really like the feats. There's a chance I might be changing Ubiquitous Shield out, but I'm not sure yet. Um, what I would put this in, in exchange for that... Uh, let's see. Honestly, I might put it in Distracting Shield. Just because that would stack with the Valhalla and everything else, whatever. So, you would, this would make you tankier, I guess. I mean, so would, so does this, but... I don't know. I, I'm still um, tinkering around, so... Not everything is completely set in stone, but this is what I've been using for a little while. And it's working for me at the moment. So I'll just I'll scroll through these pretty quick so you can just stop the video if you want to copy them. One thing that I did differently in my boons uh, in comparison to the last bit, uh, video that I did would be the control resist boons. The ones that give me uh, shorter uh, um, time being CC'd. That's really good right now and also the healing ones if you notice if I go to Sharandar. This one heals, uh, I used to take um, Elven Furiosity and also Shadow Touch. Those proc a lot. So if you want more DPS, less healing, you can just rearrange some of the builds. This is a, a good place to start. I'll finish through. I don't have any Ravenloft build, I mean, uh, boons yet. Okay, I also um, changed around what I'm doing for my mounts and for my mount insignias. I'm currently using Providence. This is 
kind of up to you. Chances are you probably don't have Providence. Um, you don't need to be, you know, full rank 13s, everything mythic, everything legendary, have legendary mounts. You don't need all that for this build. You really don't. You don't, you can use, uh, I mean, really whatever it is that you got. If you have only 2k stats in your, in your mounts, that's fine. You can, you know, you can choose defense or... I don't know, whatever, whatever you guys want to do, that's fine. I don't really get stats from mine. I just get heals. So that's fine. Um, the next thing I did was I rearranged some of my uh, my mount insignia bonuses. So let's let's go through this. This is a heal, champion's return. It's a heal, gives me stamina, okay? Um, oppressor's reprieve, when I get stunned, knocked, whatever, whatever, it's also a heal. Gladiator's school. this is always a must-have. Must-have. If you guys are working on a new build, or you just, you're, you have your build in the lab right now, you're experimenting, always take Gladiator's school. Always take Gladiator's school. When you deflect, as you can see, my deflect is extremely high. So when I deflect, I get a heal over time. This procs all the time. And when I use a mount control power, um, or sorry, combat power, I receive a buff. This one's really good. You don't need this, obviously, if you don't have a mount that you can use in combat. You could switch this out. Um, that's kind of personal preference. It's only one insignia um, bonus, so or mount insignia bonus, whatever. Um, so you can switch that out for whatever you want. If, if you want me to tell you what might be good let me see if you want less tankiness more dps you can go assassin's covenant um yeah i don't see any in there that i would take besides assassin's covenant um i'm sure there's different stuff you guys would like to have and use uh so this is something I see a lot of people skipping, is um, manage artifact powers. I use Threatening Rush, and the reason I use Threatening Rush, if le if we go through here, you really don't hit people with Weapon Master Strike very often. Granted, I know if I use the Sword Master build, I don't have any use for Threatening Rush at all. I understand that. However, the times that I do use Iron Vanguard, which, um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of 50-50 now. I used to use Iron Vanguard a lot more. You can spam threatening rushes, and there's no missing. You can't miss. The only time you can miss is if they dodge it. But you can spam it, and you have an infinite amount of them. And you can use them really quickly. So every time you hit them with that, that's 9.6 uh, increased damage on it. It adds up, man. It really does. I don't know if you guys see, but when I'm against TRs or against clerics, I always spam threatening rush on them. Uh, for a couple of reasons, it baits out their dodges, so they, they run out of stamina, and when they run out of stamina, then you can blow your combo on them. I don't know, it's, it, there's a lot of different reasons why, uh, I would suggest using Threatening Rush there. And, for this, always shield talent. Um, I, you know, I can't honestly say always combat advantage bonus, because I've seen other DPS GFs, do you know their GPS is? I mean, their DPS is just fine, and they don't use the combat advantage bonus. Um, control resist is probably okay there, and action point gain probably okay. Um, if you really want to go for that CC build, you can go with control bonus. I've seen it happen. I've seen it done. I actually used to do that. I had a lot of control bonus on my abilities. And it's, it's actually pretty nice to be able to keep people still. However, you know, a lot of people run a lot of control resist and a lot of, you know, elven battles get used, whatever, whatever. I don't know. So it's it, you can have a little bit, but I wouldn't suggest putting everything into control. So Valhalla, I would definitely say using the Valhalla set is extremely good right now. Um, it's just, it just makes you beefier. It really does. Um, I, I have the Baphomet and I have the Cloak of the Protector. This is a two set. So if I use these two together, I can change out my artifact. Um, if you don't have the Valhalla set, you know most, most of you guys probably have the Baphomet set. That's fine. It's, it's really not the end of the world. If you can get your hands on a Valhalla, then, you know, 
and that's what you want to do, then by all means do it. Um, this ring, to be honest, guys, this ring is not very good. The only reason that I'm using it is because it has two defense slots. And that gives me the uh, opportunity to satisfy my OCD and send my deflect over 20k. So one thing that I'm currently working on is... I'll show you. I know that this is probably out of reach for most of the people watching this. Um, and that's fine. But... This is what I'm working towards. This boy right here. This gives you 4,000 deflection. So if I swap out my mount insignias, instead of having the heals from my lion, I would have an additional 4K deflect, which would give me 24K deflect. So if I use everything all together, um, keep in mind I'm also using shadow clad. So pretty much as soon as I go into PvP or combat and I start getting hit, my deflect chance is going to go extra like through the roof, dude. It's going to go through the roof. Just chilling right now. I have 64% deflect chance. That's pretty good. Um with the uh the 4k deflect, I probably would go uh maybe almost to 70%, something like that. And then you could squeeze out, a, you know, some more DPS. I mean, some more uh, deflect with other things. Like if I was using Swordmaster, I could use Steel Grace, and that would give me an additional. Uh, let's see how much. Okay, that's a decent amount. So right now with Steel Grace. Uh, I have 72.5. So let's say you like this this route better. You can, instead of using Shield Talent, you can use Shield Warrior's Wrath. And then for your offhand bonus, you can put this on Steel Grace. And it also decreases, or increases rather, your control resistance by an additional 10%. So if you really want to take that route, that's fine. I would suggest taking the anniversary ham to increase your max stamina and you know, probably will want to build a lot of stamina regen because having uh, a lot of stamina regen and max stamina is really, really good right now because everybody and their moms are CCing like no other. Um, I know that the audio was bugged in the last video that I uploaded, the one with me and Minnie in it, um, but there is a, you know, it's it's if you see if you go to, if you go to that video and you go to the time marker, there's that uh, cleric who was bugging me out with his headpiece, and he just kept knocking me over and over and over and over again. Things like that are happening right now. It's always going to happen with a new bug. Things are going to be I mean a new mod. Things are going to be bugged out. Um, it's really good to have control resist right now, and it's really good to have a lot of stamina. So that way you can just kind of play it safe. You keep it patient on the node, wait for an opening, wait for an opportunity, and then pick someone off if you can. Um, having a lot of deflect and being able to survive is really good right now in the current mod. Um, the thing is, you're, you're going to chip people down over time. You might not one-shot them like, like I used to. Um, however, you know, a lot of people, a lot of squishies, you could still kill them, no problem. You still have pretty good DPS. As you can see, my stats are fine. Dude, my stats are looking real good right now. I have 185k, um, you know, I had a 270 HP build, but it lacked a lot of defense, it lacked a lot of other stuff, and it wasn't really worth it. It was a build more just uh, centered around the main. By the way, if you don't have the main of Manticore, it's not the end of the world, but um, it is good to have if, you know, use whatever you got, whatever you guys got, just do the best you can if uh, you don't know how to get the sandy's pants or you don't have the sandy's pants these pants are extremely good for pvp um the when they return i mean uh, they spawn in the um i think it's the foreign merchant wandering merchant some mysterious merchant some merchant who appears in your guild stronghold or any guild that's in your alliance 
So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your guild stronghold and um, go to the merchant. If you don't know where the merchant is, just do a quick Google search um, after you watch this video. And go check your guild because I think he spawns every day or has a chance to spawn every day. If he's not in your guild stronghold, go to every single guild that's inside of your alliance and check their stronghold. Um, he costs, uh, or it costs, uh, guild marks to buy. Um, I don't remember how much, but probably a decent amount. So you'll need guild marks, but if you can get these pants, by all means, grab them when you can. They're extremely good. The other thing I would say that's malleable as far as this build goes, um, is the rings. I'm using this this ring for the HP and the deflect, and then I'm using this ring for the two defense slots so I can put silveries in it. However, if you don't have these rings, um, this, by the way, this ring comes from Tong. A lot of these rings come from Tong, um, like the restoration ring and the uh, assault ring. They all come from Tong. Um, Curse Bringer does not work in PvP anymore. So if you guys are still using Curse Bringer, stop using Curse Bringer. It does not do you any good. Um, if you can get your hands on a Ring of Sieging plus 4 or plus 5, that would be extremely good. And also a Ring of Impenetrability plus 4 or plus 5. Anything plus 3 is probably not worth it. It only gives you one enchantment slot and the... Uh, the effect on it is decreased uh, lower than the plus four is. So, um, you know, it, you don't have to copy this build. Obviously, you don't have to copy the build. But if you do like the way my character looks, like it handles itself in PvP and you want to give it a try, this is exactly what I'm using. I'm not hiding anything from anybody. I get a lot of people telling me that I'm changing my stuff for these videos. I'm really not. Um... Everything is, 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 you know, face value. You can see what I have. I'm showing you everything. Uh, if you guys have any questions or um, comments or if I missed anything that you wanted to see, just put it in the comments so that way I can uh, make sure I cover it. I don't want to leave any information out because I know a lot of people uh, have been asking me about this, this build. Um, having high deflect is really good right now. You can you can run that cancer build, and uh, and do the full deflect with the knight's valor. Um, you can use knight's valor, supremacy of steel, guarded assault, um, and then run super high deflect, and then use the boons that when you deflect damage or when you deflect somebody's attack. The attacker takes 7,000 defense, or I mean, uh, damage. I don't remember which campaign that's in. Oh, um, so for these, by the way, I don't know, you guys probably skipped it. Someone probably skipped way past this. But for those that are still watching, um, it's best when you have... Um, the option to separate between boons. It's usually best to separate. I don't want lifesteal. And uh, and I don't need crit severity. So I chose these two. And I put two points in this for the extra healing. Uh, however, you know, if you need the lifesteal, by all means, choose lifesteal. But it's usually best to separate out your, uh, your boons. Um... Yeah, this is the one. Uh, frozen Reflection. When you uh, deflect an attack, um, you deflect up to 7,000 damage to your attacker. There's no timer on this, so you don't have to wait for these things to like go on cooldown and then come back. It's pretty much constant. So um, I want to thank, actually, everybody that you see in this list right here for helping me. They all agreed to come and take time out of their day just to be in the match so that way I could show you what these stats look like because I'm using the pioneer set it's important that I show you what this looks like when I'm in a match so you can uh, you can see what the stats will actually look like when you're in PvP um, yeah so if I left anything out that you want to see or if you have any requests on future builds that you want me to try to make um, just put them in the comments. I always read the comments. 
Uh, I don't always get to respond, and a lot of times I forget which videos had a comment that I didn't respond to. So if I didn't respond to any of your comments, I apologize. Um, I'll try to go through and see all the comments that I didn't reply to yet, and I'll try to reply to them. It's just, I get very distracted. But, thank you for watching, and uh, I don't know, do good out there.